Good afternoon. I'm up at Wilson's Creek, about 30 minutes from Mullumbimby, up in the rainforest. Northern Rivers area of New South Wales, Australia. And I've just been at the Lillian Cafe and Apothecary, which is well worth a visit if you're ever in the Byron area. Great food run by great people with great intentions. So, if you're in the area, make sure you visit that. And I did this video yesterday at Brunswick Heads on New Brighton Beach. But it was so windy, and even for my tolerance of poor sound quality, it was too much when I got home. So. I'm going to do it again today while I walk through the rainforest on a scorching hot day. And yesterday I spoke about one of my favourite fruits, which is pomegranate, and what it's got to do with astronauts, what it's got to do with a weight loss, and what it's got to do with Bitcoin. So if you're interested in what links pomegranates to astronauts, weight loss, and Bitcoin, Hang on for the mandatory musical break, and we'll be back in a second to discuss it. Right, just about to cross Wilson's Creek. Beautiful creek, still running well. And today I want to talk about pomegranates which I'm actually growing a lot of at my uh, property in northern New South Wales because it grows well here as well as the Mediterranean. And why I wanted to discuss it was there was some news out last week that NASA scientists and doctors were doing some investigation into spaceflight and why astronauts get sick when they're in space. And they've worked out that it's because of mitochondrial dysfunction. Remember, we have one quadrillion mitochondria in our body and the role of the mitochondria, well, there are many, but obviously the main one is the conversion of sunlight and food into water and energy. And one of the things, or two of the things that are absolutely critical for mitochondrial function are full spectrum sunlight and the correct natural electromagnetic frequencies that we're exposed to on this very unique planet called Earth. And that electromagnetic frequency is called the Schumann resonance and is 10 hertz per second. And obviously when you're an astronaut in space, hang on while I cross the creek, Woo! obviously when you're an astronaut in space, you are not getting exposed to full spectrum sunlight and you're not getting exposed to 10 hertz per second Schumann resonance when you're a spacecraft, the butterfly flying past in the middle of space. And that's what's making the mitochondria not function properly. So what's that got to do with pomegranate? Well, as you'll see, when we talk about pomegranate and weight loss, pomegranate is really important for the respiratory protein number four and the mitochondrial in a membrane. So what happens with your mitochondria is it takes food, breaks them down into electrons, and then passes those electrons along what's called the electron transport chain, or the respiratory proteins, on the inner mitochondrial membrane. Now we know that dysfunction in the mitochondria can be blamed for about 90% of chronic degenerative disease now. And also, we now know that they're critical for weight loss in terms of energy production, heat production, and brown fat. So that's how we burn our calories. We burn our calories to produce heat, burn our calories to produce light, produce, uh, burn our calories to produce water in the mitochondrial matrix, and also use the mitochondria to produce energy, the ATP. And we found that a phytochemical in pomegranate interacts with the fourth respiratory protein, fourth cytochrome, and that fourth cytochrome is responsible for pumping hydrogen atoms 
from across the inner mitochondrial membrane to the gap between the inner mitochondrial membrane and the outer mitochondrial membrane. And when that gets to a sufficient protein gradient, those mitochondria burst back through the inner mitochondrial membrane. And as they do so, they spin the fifth respiratory protein, otherwise known as ATPase. And ATPase is a microscopic nanomotor that as hydrogen atoms pass, spin through it, it spins it and converts adenosine diphosphate, ADP, into adenosine triphosphate, ATP, which produces our energy. It also produces heat, heat. So we are burning calories to produce heat. We're burning calories to produce energy. And we also burn calories to produce water in that mitochondrial matrix water. So pomegranate, a phytochemical from pomegranate, makes the mitochondria work better through that fourth respiratory protein. And of course, we're now looking at ways of protecting astronauts by safeguarding their mitochondrial function while they're in space. So that's going to be one of the areas of investigation. But we don't have to wait for that because we can just eat some pomegranate anyway, which will also help with weight loss. Now, the other interesting thing about pomegranate, which is going to be relevant when we come up to Bitcoin, is that there's another nutrient in pomegranate called urolithin A. And what urolithin A has been found to do is it protects the length of our telomeres. Now, our telomeres are like the plastic ends of our shoelaces, and they're there to stop the ends of our shoelaces being eroded away. They protect the shoelaces. And it's the same thing with telomeres. Telomeres are on the end of all of our chromosomes and they basically protect the chromosome from degradation or deflation, if you like. And urolithin A from pomegranate has been shown to delay the degradation of those telomeres. And one of the theories of aging is that we age as our telomeres shorten. And that once our telomeres are disappeared, then that's the end of our life on this planet. So the longer and more stable we can keep our telomeres, the longer we're going to live in a healthy way as well. And pomegranate or urolithin A helps maintain the length of those telomeres. So not only does pomegranate help with weight loss by improving mitochondrial respiratory protein four, not only is it perhaps gonna help astronauts, what has it got to do with Bitcoin? Well, Bitcoin is the same. Bitcoin is a protection against deflation of our monetary system. There is only ever going to be 21 million Bitcoins. In fact, there's only ever gonna be 18 million because three million have been permanently lost and you cannot make more Bitcoin. You cannot hyperinflate away the, the value of Bitcoin like you can with a fiat currency where you can just print more dollars. So in theory, Bitcoin is the first monetary asset that we have that can't be hyperinflated away. Even gold can be because as the gold price goes up, gold mines ramp up production and you can get more gold, but you can't do that with Bitcoin. You cannot ramp up production of Bitcoin and eventually there'll be no more Bitcoin produced. So there you go. Pomegranate might help astronauts by improving the health of the mi mitochondria. Pomegranate might help weight loss by improving the function of respiratory protein four, which spins our, develops the protein gradient to spin our ATP nanomotors to produce heat and energy and has a similarity with Bitcoin because Bitcoin, like pomegranate and telomeres, is a protection against hyperinflation or wearing out of our currency supply. So if you want to learn more about that, I have a Patreon page where I write about health and cryptocurrencies every week. You can join me there. There's a link at the end. Otherwise, make sure when you come to the Byron area that you come and visit the Lilium Cafe in Wilsons Creek. Been great talking to you. Peace and love. See you next time. Bye.